yes we are in the app drive so in my app drive let me open that app drive and you will see a kvc.txt file here what i'm going to do is i'm going to hide that using the attrib command a double t r i p attrib so i'm going to change the attributes of that command just write attrib and then to add attributes just write rash r a s h rash and okay i have not started include game okay. a then s h rash just write plus and space and plus so you will you need to provide the command uh, the file you want to apply the command to so i am applying on kvc.txt so after that you will see that the file has gone and it is being hidden using the slash h switch and slash with the plus s you have made that file system file so you cannot easily delete that to get that file back or unhide that file just Hey hello YouTube I am Karan from Bharat and this is the second part of the video series that I am covering on learning the basics of batch programming so this is the second part and in this part we are going to cover these topics so you just need to learn some more commands and we will go over them quickly and then we are going to discuss these important topics in this tutorial so keeping things quick and clean I'm going to run the CMD as you know window R CMD and in this black screen we are going to try these commands so the first command is prompt as you see as you can see that whenever you will launch CMD a working directory is always printed on the console screen so you can change that and using the prompt command so let's see what the prompt command is so getting the help using slash question mark so changes the cmd.exe command prompt and you can change this text to anything you want so what i'm going to do is i'm trying to make it more like windows uh, linux terminal so i'm going to write prompt and then i'm going to write let's say kali at the rate root So now it seems to be a terminal com window. You can also write some commands here, like some text here, and it will work perfectly as CMD. But now it is, it seems to be like a Linux console or Linux terminal. So you can change that using the prompt command, and you can see the help menu for more customizations. And the next command is attrib. This is the most powerful command I think you must know that so I'm going to change the directory to desktop and let's change the directory to another another let's say drive so I'm going to change it to my F drive so let's see if we are in the F drive or not yes we are in the F drive so in my F drive let me open that F drive and you will see a kvc.txt file here what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide that Using the attrib command, a double t r i p attrib. So I'm going to change the attributes of that command. Just write attrib, and then to add attributes, just write rash r a s h rash. And okay, I have not started include game a then s h rash. Just write plus and space and plus. So you will you need to provide the command uh, the file you want to apply the command to. So I'm applying on kvc.txt. So after that, you will see that the file has gone and it is being hidden using the slash h switch. I have made that file system file so you cannot easily delete that to get that file back or unhide that file just simply write just simply replace all this plus with minuses okay let me turn the insert on again oh, my hands are working too slow yeah, this is cold air so I am typing slow so as you can see now the file has come back and you can easily read and write that file so this command you must know you can also find this useful in hiding or unhiding your personal data so here another command is called 
to call other batch scripts or batch plugins or batch files you need to write you need to know about this call and let me write question mark here you can help you can take the help and it says calls one batch program from another and you can make your batch program and type call and it will call that file and then keep that the, the current environment open the color command is another file so color is an internal command and you can change the color let's say green and you will see all the color is changed you can take the help to know the color codes the color codes are in hexadecimal form so take the commands and you will know all these color codes that we have just used i have used 0a the 0 stands for black and a stands for light green so the background is black and the foreground is light green you can invert that also so just write ao and uh, it doesn't sound more geeky this one is geeky so we we'll choose that i play the screen using cls the copy command simply copy one file to other just take the example using this and you will know all these things just copy the file using the copy command and the move command is the same and ram is just for used for remux you can give your remux or commands using ram command you can write anything here anything 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 so this the cmd interpreter will ignore this lines after that after them so you can use this command to give commands in your batch programs date you can change the current date of the system using the date command so it will ask you for date i will not write anything and it will keep the date same you can see the current date and time using the date variable and this is the current date inside the date variable you will see the current data and current time is also given here percentage time percentage so this is the current time it's 2031 it's 831 the same thing and you can simply write time to change the time of the system i don't want that so i will not do that delete delete is used to delete the file delete then write a name of the file and it will get deleted so don't delete any file using this command because cmd will not ask you for do you want to delete that file because once the file is gone it is you cannot find it in the recycle bin so the cmd is deleting without asking anything you just need to tell it to delete and it will delete so be cautious while using this, these commands and mode is used to change the size of the current console screen so i will change it to 80 comma 25 the standard cmd size uh, it's already in the 8025 so let me change something so we have seen that the height of the cmd screen has changed so let me make it back and again apply the same command so you will see the main the mode command is changing the current console screen size and the rename command you already know just let's try to rename the kvc.txt file to kvc. Uh, let's say txt dot txt and let me open the f drive you will see there is a file kvc.txt.txt and there is a type command type command is used to type the entire file on this console screen just write let's type the kvc.txt.txt file and on the console screen and the data inside the kvc.txt.txt <laughs> file is on the screen like you don't need to write echo echo every time because echo will print the name of the file if you will write echo kvc.txt.txt it will print kvc.txt.txt okay it is made, making me mad but if you want to print the data inside the file so you need to use the type command so i, I hope these commands have gone through your head and you'll have a good time if you will try these commands on your own and let's start the real tutorial so important shortcuts while using executing in commands in cmd so while executing any command for example let me auto complete a name so for example uh, i want to rename the file back so i will write a command and then if I have to rename a file named which is have longer name so I will write first two letters of that command that file name and then 
प्रेस टैब की टी ए बी टैब बिसाइड योर क्यू कोटे की पैड अब द कैप्स लॉक and you will see it will auto complete the name for you and if you will keep on pressing tab it will keep on switching things and if you will pass the required value just try shift tab and it will take you one step back and now we, we are trying to rename that file to kvc.txt.txt so let rename it back and let's type the kvc.txt file and yep we have renamed the file back and if you have written something and then just press escape key instead of backspace it will clear the entire line and these are the important shortcuts that i have known if you know more please comment that in the video below so what is batch scripting or batch programming it is just this question we have already cleared in the previous tutorial but let's talk about it again the batch scripting or batch programming is just keeping a lot of commands in a single text file so that you don't need to write those commands again and again you just need to execute that file and all the commands will get executed automatically so writing those commands in a single batch file is called batch programming according to me or batch scripting in many cases so variable handling in batch so we are going to handle variables in batch because every programming language needs variables variables are the soul of that a programming language so the set command is used okay let me console screen is taking too much space so let me clear the screen again and you guys you can see variable handling in batch the set command is used to set the value of variables so let us create a new variable named as the bad team okay we have not provide any value we'll get get error so i have written set name of the variable then equal to and then assign the value to to the variable let's say www.thepatteam.org and when i will press enter so now this value is stored inside this variable so when i will write echo to print a string so i will write echo the bad team so cmd is not case sensitive so if i will lower the case it will not get any change so it is still treating the variable as the same but except the for loop the for loop in the cmd is case sensitive so we are printing we'll talk about for loop in the next session so it is printing the value that we have saved inside the variable so that's how you can save values inside the variables and the set command and the variable looks like this surrounded by two percentage signs and inside that the name of the variable so if you want to apply arithmetic operations on variables so to apply arithmetic operations we need integer variables so let me call x create a x variable named as 5 and set a y variable named as 6 so what i will do is i will write set slash a switch we'll use this arithmetic switch and we'll write z and then is equal to percentage x because this is the name of the variable underscore x and these two percentages will extract the value of person underscore x and the 5 will get printed instead of this mess okay then what do we want to do we want to add y into it so i will write that and press enter so it is saying the answer is 11 and it is saving the value inside the z variable so let's echo the z variable also so the z variable also has in the value 11 you can do all the arithmetic operations like plus minus and multiplication and division so please keep that in mind that cmd only can handle integer calculations you cannot divide 5 by 2 so it will give only 2 so let's see if you can do that 5 divided by 2 yep it won't give you 2.5 it will only give you 2 
so to take the user input you again need the set command but with the slash p parameter user name is equal to so you can write a string here like enter name and the next line it is asking you for entering your name so you can write kvc or whatever and in the username variable the name kvc is saved you can see inside the username you have saved kvc so that is how you can create and manipulate variables inside the cmd console user interaction with your program getting input from user we just seen that with using slash p parameter in around set command some predefined variables in batch we need applicable console size so when you will launch cmd you will see that when i will write set and press enter without any parameter you will see there are variables underscore x y z that we have just defined underscore username if i will close that and i will bring another cmd screen i will write again set our variables are not here because they were erased when we closed the session but whenever you will launch the new new session of the cmd console you will see all these variables are predefined and please they have preset values like the path variable the important variable we talked about the path extension variables so all these values are already having already saved inside the variables when you will launch the console screen so these are the predefined variables you can use them like you can use echo computer name and the computer name of the current user will be printed and you can use these home path and home drive and log log on server and all these things just in your path like if you don't know the username of the username of the computer you can just write percentage username percentage and the username will be replaced using in the your patch code and that's how your code will not get corrupt so these are the predefined variables the conditional statements if statement the final we are going to talk about that the if statements are the soul of patch programming so let me clear the mess and if statement you can take the help and there are three kinds of statements according to me here so you can use the else also lot longer manual needed for that so just simply write if then the variable let's say the variable has value 5 is less than 6 which is true so set the title to yes else set it to no so the title will be a uh, yes and you can replace these numbers choosing variables so i'm just showing for the tutorial point of view so yes now 5 is not less than 4 so the title is set to no if you want to compare two numbers just simply write if the number and the operation and then the number the condition and the number again then in under the bracket you can apply all the all the code or commands you want to execute if the condition is true or the condition is false but if you want to compare strings just try using this syntax slash i and the string let's say kvc is equal to the bat team then echo yes otherwise it don't echo anything so the kvc is not equal to bat team the kvc is inside the bat team so what we'll do it is the kvc is equal to kvc okay insert we need to activate the insert mode yeah now it is writing yes so slash i helps in handling these errors if the k is for in first case it is bigger and the second case it is smaller so slash i will ignore those things and it will compare the strings only so that is what we come we were going to talk about in this tutorial so i hope you like this tutorial and feel free to subscribe and thanks for watching please leave your suggestions your love to your thumbs ups and comments thanks for watching please share this video and do like this 
Bye-bye.